are excited about fall because there are so many fun free things to do around Nashville. Mary Hance, Miss Cheap, has so many good ideas for us today. You've got it all planned, right? Well, you know, it's hard for me to believe it's fall already, but um, it is, and I've been working for weeks trying to get my fall guide ready. Um, it is free things to do between Labor Day weekend and Thanksgiving weekend. And, you know, I'm always amazed at how much stuff there really is. You have 76 things? 76 things, yeah. and every one of them is free, and there's something for everybody. I love it. Uh, the concerts are the thing that I think people are often interested in, and that starts this week with concerts in the courtyard at the library. You know, these are the Tuesday lunchtime concerts mm -hmm. that go from 11.45 to 1. These are just great for families or for seniors or for downtown workers. Um, it's great, uh, you know, the lineup is great. There's the Steve Party trio, and then uh, Riders in the Sky will be there, the Wanna Beatles those kind of things. Nice. Can you um, park at the library for that? You can park at the library and it's free for the first little bit, I think an hour and a half. Nice. So, okay. so that's a good deal. Uh, the symphony, the, the free day at the symphony is something I think yeah. people really look forward to. And that's something where that you can go and pick your seat in, in the Laura Turner Concert Hall and see the symphony free, completely free, the whole symphony. Um, and then there are 25 other acts that come. Um, then the, the um, Musician's Corner is back, and okay. this time they're going to be on Thursdays. Um, and so that's something good for people Thursday nights to go to mm -hmm. Centennial Park and enjoy some great music without paying a cent. That I love really it. Nice. <laughs> music City has all sorts of things. It sure does. How about the arts? The arts, you know, you have the Tennessee Crafts Fair. Uh, this year it's in October rather than September in Centennial Park with, I think, 200 artisans coming in and showing their stuff. Now, their, their, their products are not all cheap. <laughs> of course. And they're certainly not free, but there's some demonstrations and there's a kid's tent. And it's, it's just fun to walk around mm -hmm. and see what, what these artisans are doing. There's beautiful things that they're, that they're creating. Um, they're also, um, in addition to that, Shakespeare in the Park is continuing, oh, yeah. and that goes on um, this weekend at Centennial Park and one more weekend there, and then it moves to Franklin for four days. So it's a Midsummer Night's Dream, and you know that we're so That's lucky a to have Shakespeare that. Shakespeare play, yeah. it is, and you know it's, they have a suggested ten dollar donation, but it's technically free. So you know we we like to support them if we can, but you sure. you don't have to. Okay. And then there's some art studio tours in Sumner County and in, in Rutherford County where you can go and actually go to the studios, and I think those are mostly later in the fall. That sounds fun. It is fun. Okay. How about festivals? Now the festivals, I think there are probably two dozen or more festivals on my list. And, you know, it's the things you think about with Oktoberfest and Pumpkin Fest and um, Southern Festival of Books, um, but there's some really um, unique ones also. Um, the, you know, the, the uh, Goats and Music Festival in <laughs> Lewisburg is right. one where you can see the fainting goats. And then there's the Roly Hole um, Marble Tournament um, that they have at Standing Stone State Park. And this has been going on for years, and they it's a championship for, uh, for marbles. I've and never <laughs> heard of that. <laughs> well, it's, it's definitely something different. I have not been to that one, but it's free, and I, from everything I hear, it's very interesting. There's a lot of music at that one, too, so it's not just marbles. I want to go to the Dragon Boat Festival this year, well, too. The Dragon, I've never been to that. Well, that should be fun, too, and that's great fun to watch. And I think that you can get up a team and do that. I, I wouldn't think that would be free, but no. you, you, could, <laughs> you could do that and have a good time. Of course, this is a great time year to be outdoors and there are so many outdoor activities we can take advantage of. Right and you know there's a there are four times a year that Tennessee State Parks have their all park hike days and they the one of those is coming up on September 22nd where every single park will have either a hike or a a, a volunteer opportunity. Some of them have canoe floats. Um, you know, it's a great time to get out and do things. And you know, the metro parks are free all the time. Yeah. And there's so many things to do on, on their schedules, the nature centers and, and the parks. Such a great resource. All right, it's all coming out on Sunday. It's going to come out Sunday in mm -hmm. print on the Tennessean, and it's online today, so you could go to Tennessean.com oh, slash Ms. Cheap. But one more thing, the Tennessee State Museum is opening in October, yeah. and the, the plans for that are not firm yet of exactly what's going to go on, but there'll be some free fun for that and to be able to see that new fabulous facility. Um, I think October 4th is the tentative date, so mark that on your calendar, and, you know, these are great ways to stay cheap. It's going to be a great fall. <laughs> Thanks so much, Mary. Thanks. Stay cheap.